Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and this is Vlogmas Day 15. I had to check my calendar to see what number it was. So last night we had snow and school got delayed for two hours. Um, I had a very peaceful, no, I'm joking. I did not have a peaceful morning. <laughs> but anyway, let me open my advent calendar. I have a clip that I recorded upstairs that I'll pop in after I open up this drawer. Day 15 has some stockings on this side, a little bit of a swoosh. Um, we have some more, I want to say this they're calling the sugar mouse. I can't read it on my glasses on yet. Sugar mouse. A pot, a tassel maker. This is going with the mini makes, but I'm going to be honest. I think I have one of these already. So if you remember watching yesterday's video, when I ranted about Christmas trees, I also told you how I moved all the stuff from my old advent calendar into this one. And this is the tassel maker I had from a crochet society subscription box. And this is the one I have here. I have a whole drawer of these little nuggets from her obviously new one old one this one is a hook gauge where you stick your hook in it this one is very hard to read but that's just because of my eyesight i don't know what i'm gonna do if i go blind you guys um this one is you know u.s terms to to uk terms that whole double crochet treble crochet jazz and there's another one i've got two of that one this one here is talking about the hook size, which I didn't know was a thing. Um, I mean, I knew that there was a 4.5 millimeter and that there was a five millimeter and that we called the five millimeter an H, but I did not know we called the 4.5 millimeter a seven. I didn't know that. I just always went by the millimeter or the letter. I didn't know that there was, I guess what this is telling us is that the British don't use the letters. Um, then there's this thing to help check your gauge. Oh, I never peeled the plastic off it. Well, there's most of it. I'm just throwing it here on my craft room floor. And then the last thing, which I think is kind of handy, um, it's not the same one I had before. It's where you would lay your yarn in these grooves. Can you see that? And it tells you whether it's fingering up to bulky. I had bought a wooden tool um, from Fiber Yarn Shop in Nina, and you wrap it around this wooden tool for a certain amount of times, and then they tell you based on your wrappage. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back in here. More. That's why I really love these advent calendars. I mean, well, I love them for all kinds of reasons, but sometimes you just need a place to store all these things, like this one right here right now has all of my little scissors it also and a good many of them are the crochet society ones there's another one in here there's another one in here these ones also are pinchy ones if i ever don't have a scissor it's because i'm crazy i mean look how many i have um and so what i like to do is i like to group them all by like items in the drawers now this one here has been in the scissor drawer because until then I didn't have an empty drawer to put measuring tapes, which I now can start popping those in. This one here I actually got from a subscriber friend and I think she got it from Hobby Lobby. It's like a little cat monkey thing. Okay, so now that I have this whole row done, ooh, ooh, ooh. ah, okay. I've got the top three all set. I did not get to any crocheting last night after doing my video and uploading it. YouTube has been having a really hard time uploading videos lately. I don't know what their problem is, but I did start, I did, you know, start working on some of the hats. Um, all of my hats are finished, but I did want to put pom-poms on them. So I'm finding that I think these pom-poms are little, but it's just what it is, I'm just gonna go with it. So this pom-pom here, I sewed the button right down there. And then if you can see there, I draped the elastic right around it. So I got that one done. I got this one done. Same situation. There's the button, there's the elastic. I pull it through the top hole when I close off my hat. 
and then I just drape that elastic around that button. And then I pulled this guy out, and this one actually has a snap. I had a couple snapped ones left from last year. Look how beautiful that one is. Mm. So I'm working along on the pom-poms. Probably have 20 more to go. Yeah, what is this one? Is this, oh, this one's a stretchy one. I was saving this one for this hat here. I pulled it out and I thought, ooh, I should put it on that one. Um, so this actually is not taking very long and I'm gonna show you the buttons I'm using if I can find them. I set them out. So I have, I don't know if you guys have seen these little containers before, but I have like a bunch of them in rainbow color and then I put all of them in a big clear storage. I made a video about it a while ago, storing my buttons. But these are about the size there's a few random big ones in here. I'm not sure why they're in there. I did not organize very well. But these are like the size buttons I'm using. Just a little. Now I prefer the ones that only have two holes in them, like this. But I'm um, yeah, I'm just taking one of these little small buttons. I don't care what color it is, just as long as it's small. It can't be too small, but it's gotta be big enough to at least stretch the elastic around it. Um, I have a feeling that tonight that's gonna when I come home from school that's gonna go much quicker um, and then Friday is tomorrow and that will be the day that I uh, catch up on my squares I will do the squares for Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday all on Friday so yeah I'm hoping to get most of my pom-poms done tomorrow and then obviously a few of them I still have to weave in the ends. This one I already did, but there's a few of them that I got lazy on and I just finished it off. Like, well, this one here, I got some sewing to do on the ends, see that? Um, so I gotta get those done. And then I think I'm mostly ready in regards to, well, I still need to get some hot glue. I was hoping to do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do in school today, you guys, because we're missing 10 hours or two hours, which means we're going in at about 10 o'clock, which is about 40 minutes before we eat lunch because our school's gotten so big and we only have one small area to eat. The K through two start eating at 1040. Yep. And then I think the high schoolers, by the time they're done and the amount of gym usage, the middle school and high school eat in the den and I think they're eating like at 12.30, 12.45. Poor kids, all of us. So it's been helpful for me because I've been doing this combination of intermittent fasting and plexus, which I haven't really talked much about on the video because I didn't want to fail and then disappoint everyone. Hmm. So about June, I think it was, I started Plexus, a Plexus regimen. And you really have to start slow. I didn't believe them and I started taking everything at once and I got really, really bad diarrhea. I know, how embarrassing. So you really have to start adding your supplements in one at a time. I am now up to taking this pill called a Metaburn and then I have something that I take that is a block. Another, it's called block, I think. And then I take a daily, they call it a pink drink, and it's Slim contr Hunger Control. I love it. It has everything in it to give you the pep in your step. I mean, it must have natural caffeines in it. Because let me tell you, I just feel like zippity-doo after drinking that. I also added some collagen into it, which is I think has been really helping me with my hair. A lot of people, like obviously I got a nice haircut, but I definitely feel like my hair has been growing in thicker and I'm getting the new growth back up in here when it was going slow. Collagen also helps for your joints. So I'm up to one, two, three, four, four or five things that I take for Plexus. It is a little spendy, don't get me wrong. However, I have lost 25 pounds. You can't really tell in the videos, I think, because you only see my top part. I'm not really big into showing my whole body. But I will tell you, I definitely noticed my clothes are looser fitting. Clothes that were tighter on me at the end of the year that I thought, ooh, these are getting tight. They are now loose. So I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm not doing, I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not doing it for my health. I'm doing it to get skinnier. That's straight up. 
I would like to be skinnier. Now, I'm not going to ever be any kind of super model skinny. I'm not delusional in that fact. I'd like to get to like down to a size 13, 14. I think that would be fine. I think that would make me feel happier, a little healthier. Easier to find cute clothes. The skinnier you are, the cuter the clothes are. Sometimes they make clothes for bigger gals that look similar to the skinny clothes, but they don't fit you the same way and you just look dumb in them. Yeah, so really, I mean, yes, of course, there's health benefits, don't get me wrong. I would, you know, the diabetes and the heart stuff, sure, that's great, but I really would just like to be a little skinnier. <laughs> but I'm telling you the truth. But anyway, I don't remember why I said that. Oh, because I don't eat. I wake up in the morning, I drink my pink drink, and then I can eat my first meal at 1040. And then I eat like a little pro lean snack. It's a, another Plexus supplement that I mix with milk and I have, I have it as a snack. And then I eat a normal dinner and then I don't eat anything again until after seven o'clock. So it's not just the Plexus, it's the restricting of the diet. And I will say when I'm drinking all these things and it does make me feel more full when I'm drinking them. I also ordered myself this thing called a hydrate because I think sometimes I get really bad headaches from dehydration, like especially in the summer, but I just work, 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 and I'm not drinking and I don't have enough time to go to the bathroom. And so when I was drinking the hydrates, you get extra electrolytes and hydrating things in that. So I usually drink one of those in the afternoon. Yeah, so yeah, but I will tell you the Plexus is expensive, don't get me wrong. And I've gradually built to where I'm probably spending a couple hundred dollars a month on them. But I lost 25 pounds, so that made me happy. I still have this though. My daughter says I need to buy a Chinese roller. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna insert the clip from the snow. Okay, y'all, I thought I would show you that we have snow now. I'm not like thrilled with it, but I don't wanna cry about it. It's cold and wet. At least I don't have recess duty. But here it all is. Last night it rained. Probably while I was taking the kids to and from youth group somewhere about six o'clock. Then it got into the three freezing temperatures and then this morning it snowed. So school is delayed for two hours. Plenty of time to catch up on homework that Flynn didn't do last night. And do a load of dishes. What a blessing. Well, we are now officially in a winter wonderland. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.